We just were walking out trying to get back to the truck. And we just walked in to a mess. Mess of them. Look at this. We just keep finding them. Oh, there's another. Look at that. Oh. Hey. I'm just crawling and finding them. Look, Tyson's already got a hat full. They're everywhere. All over under here. My wife is going to be very mad because I'm going to be late because we got to pick all these. I'm going to come back and get more. We're going to fill your bag. Thank the landowner for this. Well, that right there is an elm tree that is dying. And that right there is where I found a whole bunch of morels this year. Anybody that knows me knows that I stink at finding morels. I can find about any other mushroom, but morels tend to kick my butt every year. But this year, I finally just broke down and asked the landowner, Hey, you ever pick any morels on that place? Oh, years and years ago, me and my mother used to pick them down in there and it just hit like, well, duh, let's go, you know, that's a perfect spot for him. Got down here, walked and walked, walked and found one. Went and turkey hunt a little bit and come back at a different direction and just seen this tree. And just instantly, I said, whoa, I remember throwing my arms out going, whoa, this is a perfect spot for morels. Sure enough found over a two dozen of them under this one tree so and I ended up finding another spot just right down the way with a couple dozen more so ended up all in all searching this bottom and finding quite a few morels but the key was the elm trees and the other key was uh, a lot of people a lot of spots that people hunt for morels are gifted and uh, I was watching a video on YouTube with some guy with the cheshire grin learn your land i think was the name of his deal and i was like i was watching it and watching some of his videos about morels and sure enough that was one of the things he said was a lot of times these awesome places are gifted to people and so i just asked <laughs> stopped trying to do it myself and just asked and from all the elm trees i've seen there's slippery elm american elm uh, hackberry all kinds of different little trees in this particular spot and it really has produced a lot of morels for me so don't be afraid to ask them people sometimes they'll just give it right up uh, a lot of times they won't if they're still looking for them just down here it's the first of may turkey hunting's been slow and just looking to see if i can find a few more just the last remnants there's been a nice rain here so just looking around Get out there and find them morels, people. Man, they are delicious. And uh, once you find them, I tell you what, you really start to get the eye for them. And I've really, really enjoyed morel hunting this year for the first time since I started four years ago. But remember, look for that tree right there. The way that bark falls off that tree, that's a good indicator. That's a slippery elm. And learn your trees you know uh, I'm not a tree I'm not a tree expert but elm trees are by far the most popular tree for morel learn the different kinds of, of elm trees and then just find them this is on a slight decline to the creek and it's up on here it's uh you know it faces the sun so you know, once that light bulb went off, I was like, well, duh, yeah, that's a perfect place for morels. And I have found quite a few in here. Also, a very important tip when it comes to morel hunting, snap a picture. One, I think they're beautiful mushrooms. Snap a picture of it, and then you've got a date and a time stamp of that area when those morels are popping. Because it's going to happen generally every year. So take a picture. And then get on your hunting app like I did and drop a pin right where the morels were. 
and I didn't do every morel because they were pretty, some of them were pretty scattered out through here, but every big cluster, I dropped a pin on them for next year. Hope this helps somebody. Elm trees, that's the key. And talk to your landowners, talk to people, and maybe they'll gift you a place to hunt for them. Love y'all, God bless. I'll see you in the woods, maybe. I walked right by that one earlier, but it's it's too far gone. Yeah. But hey, you gotta save some for next year, right? Right here by that same slippery elm. That was a big one. I found a couple giant stems. So keep that in mind for next year. Hey, if y'all want to help support Wild for the Outdoors, be sure to like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification button. Get notifications when I put out a video. Love y'all.